survey that was conducted on BBC offices last week. Now, the issue was raised in UK Parliament and the UK government strongly defended the BBC, questioning the survey on BBC in India. Now, the Labour Party has condemned the rates by Indian tax authorities on BBC offices in Mumbai and New Delhi as deeply worrying. And the UK ministers have also said that they have raised the issue with their Indian counterparts. Let's listen in to a UK minister's thought. We stand up for the BBC, we fund the BBC, we think the BBC World Service is vitally important. Uh, we want the BBC to have that editorial freedom. It, it criticises us, it criticises the Labour Party, it has that freedom which we believe is vitally important. And that freedom is key. We want to be able to uh, communicate the importance of that with our, colleague, our, our, our friends across the world, including the government in India. CNN News 18, Siddhant is joining us to give us more details on this. Siddhant, can you tell us more about when the issue was raised in UK Parliament? How has the UK government and the ministers reacted on this? Well, look, uh, uh, you know, Rishi Sunak has completely distanced himself uh, from this documentary, which was made by BBC on Gujarat rights. And in fact, in the parliament, he, he distanced himself uh, from, uh, uh, from, from that documentary. But uh, Labour Party MPs have, MPs have condemned uh, the raids where, uh, which took place, um, uh, took place uh, on BBC offices in India. And in fact, uh, Labour Party MPs did raise this issue in, in the British Parliament. Now, this statement is coming from David Rutley. Now, David Rutley happens to be one MP who is very close to Rishi Sunak. And in fact, during his election, also, uh, David Rutley, who comes from the same uh, conservative party, had openly backed Rishi Sunak uh, for the post of prime minister. So they get along really well. And he's also holding a very important post right now in, in the United Kingdom, which is Parliamentary Under Secretary of the State for the UK Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office. So now he has made this statement in the House where he says that we stand up for the BBC, we fund the BBC, we think the BBC World Service is vitally important. Now, you know, what, uh, uh, what uh, uh, the, these raids uh, which took place on the BBC office were, uh, uh, were done by the, uh, by the taxmen in India, had some information, they went to their offices, and this is how the system in India works. If, uh, on the basis of suspicion, on the basis of some information, the tax agencies can carry out the raids. But they are linking these raids, the documentary which was made by BBC uh, on 2002, right? And in fact, uh, you know, uh, uh, this is uh, perhaps for the first time after that entire episode, now the MP of, in Britain is accepting that we fund the BBC. Now, this question goes out to the UK government. And in fact, many world leaders ask this question to BBC when BBC asks question to them that who is funding them? Because many world leaders in many countries believe that BBC is running agenda, BBC is running uh, narrative uh, uh, worldwide so that it benefits the government of UK. And now the senior MP has accepted it that we fund BBC. He also had gone to say that uh, BBC criticizes the Labour Party and the Conservative Party, but we believe in the freedom of press. But at the same time, uh, 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 the question also goes out to them that, uh, that worldwide the leaders are asking, the countries are asking that when BBC makes a report, BBC files a report, who is being benefited? So now, uh, you know, uh, I, I, uh, it appears that now the answer is, uh, the world has got the answer when UK MP is accepting that we fund BBC and, uh, 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 and we believe in the editorial uh, freedom of BBC. So on one end, this, where Mr. Sunak has distanced himself completely from the documentary which was made, and in fact, there was this statement which came from Britain saying that we are keeping a close eye on the developments that are taking place in India. This is the first uh, reaction which is coming from Member of Parliament where he's saying that he's condemning the raids which uh, happened in India at the same time, he said, he's saying that we fund BBC and we believe in the editorial freedom of BBC. So worldwide, uh, worldwide it is being perceived that BBC is a tool of, of the UK government. And time and again, they use this tool against countries uh, to, uh, to get the benefit, uh, benefit of it. And in fact, 
many also say this that uh, that the, as far as that documentary is concerned which was made by B- bbc the target was not the indian government or in, or indian prime minister the target was uk prime minister rishi sunak so yes uh, you know uh, this this statement uh, from from david brutley uh, uh, you know uh, who is very close to rishi sunak supporting bbc and 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 and, you know, and openly saying that we fund bbc and also we believe in editorial freedom uh, you know raises question on the stand that rishi sunak has taken as far as that one documentary is concerned all right sadhan thank you for giving us all those details and now